What's going on everybody? Today is a very special video because today is the full launch of Analyst Builder. Now, if you do not know what Analyst Builder is, it is one of the best platforms to learn data analytics in the entire world. And I know this because I built it along with my team, of course, but all the content on the entire platform I created myself. Now, this full launch is a big milestone for Analyst Builder because it took over a year to actually create the website. Then we entered a beta phase where we had a select few people actually try out the website. We fixed a lot of bugs. We added a lot of new features. And now we've just launched the full platform. And I am very excited to show it to you today. So with that being said, let's head over to my screen and take a look at Analyst Builder. All right, so I've got Analyst Builder pulled up right here. This is just the landing page. It's very similar to how we had it in beta. And you can just kind of take a look at some of the features and some of the things that we have on the platform. And you can learn more about it and join the Discord as well. Now, all I want to say here is that Analyst Builder is kind of the best of a bunch of different platforms put into one. And then all the content is created by myself. For example, right over here, we have this questions page. And you can come over here and you can filter on these free questions. Now, right now, you can go. You do not have to uh, pay for anything. You can just come and take these free questions and you can filter on those. And there are a ton of free questions that you can take. Now, what are these free questions? These are technical questions. So when you actually get an interview for a job, most likely for a data analyst position, you're going to have a technical interview. And if you were like me, you were going to fail the first couple technical interviews that you had. And I probably would not have fail them if I had something like this. Um, but essentially what this is, is you can come in here and you can click on it. And this is an easy question and it's going to give you a prompt. It's going to ask you to do something, to write some type of query. And you can come down here and you can look at the data and we'll get into this more in just a little bit, but then you can come over and you can actually choose whether you want to write it in Python, MySQL, PostgreSQL, or Microsoft SQL Server. And you can answer this question. And this is essentially what a technical interview is. It's somebody who wants to test you on your technical abilities. Now, when I was a hiring manager, even before that on a hiring team, I was the person who actually conducted our technical interviews. And I always did them in SQL because that was a really, really important skill. And almost everyone that I know would agree, you are going to have some type of technical interview, whether in SQL or Python, at some point during your interview process. It's just going to happen. And so I failed my first couple. I didn't really fully understand joins. I didn't really understand subqueries. Uh, and so when I was talking about them, I just looked bad, right? You don't have to do that. So you can come in here to these questions. You can test out a ton of different questions for free. You don't have to uh, uh, pay for anything. You can come in here and take moderate questions, which are, you know, somewhat difficult all the way up to hard questions for free. Now, when you're in here, you have a full prompt of what you're supposed to do. Now you can try to write this yourself. You can do your best. Um, if you're having trouble, you can always do hints. Uh, you can take a look at the expected output, what the answer should look like. Um, and if you're even having more trouble, you can come over here to the solution and take a look at what that code is supposed to look like. If you still don't fully understand why it is written, how it is written, I have a full video explanation. I think this is what really sets Analyst Builder apart here because these video walkthroughs are really, really, really useful. And I have gotten so much feedback saying this is one of their favorite parts of the whole platform because they kind of understood it, but then I walked through my entire thought process, I broke it down, and then afterwards they really understood it. And I think this is just phenomenal and almost no other platform has this. And so in the description, I will have a link to this questions page right here where you can come and try all of these questions for free. All you have to do is create an account. You don't have to purchase anything. You just have to sign in with like Google or X or Twitter or LinkedIn. Now, the main purpose of this is to learn. And so if you come in here, you can see we have easy, moderate, hard, and very hard questions. Now, these easy and moderate questions are the ones that I think you should be focusing on for entry level or junior data analyst positions. These are the types of questions that I got when I was interviewing for those roles. Now, once you get a little bit more advanced, I would focus more on the moderate and the hard. Uh, I just did a live stream the other day and I was doing these hard questions and they're hard but they're extremely relevant. They focus on things like data exploration, data cleaning, and kind of everything in between. It's just really, really fun to do. And then we have very hard questions. Now, there are no very hard questions in the free, but if we take a look here, we have several very
very hard questions. Now, these questions, now these questions are very difficult. I've had a few people who are able to solve them without looking at the solution or looking at the video explanation, but these are just kind of like a challenge. They are really, really, really fun. Now, one of the coolest things about answering these questions is you don't just learn from them. You also earn points and you rank up in this. So if we come over here, we're going to go to the profile. Now, this is my uh, temporary account, but this is like one that I've used. But I have another account where I'm a master in my SQL. But in this one, I have 1000 points. That makes me a practitioner of my SQL. But you can also rank up all the way to master. But you have to earn a lot of points to get there. And so as you practice with these technical questions you are earning points as well and you are earning these badges now you can also see down here that i have this certificate this is when you complete courses and we'll take a look at the courses in just a second but this is kind of your page that is just a summary of everything that you've done on analyst builder this is also a public profile so you can take this link and you can share this with anybody. And so you can customize this. You can go over here to your settings page. And so you can come down here and you can write whatever you'd like to write, whatever you think people would be interested in seeing. Really what this is for is just sharing and just showing your progress as a data analyst. So whether you're learning Python or MySQL or whatever skill you are learning or the courses that you're taking, you can kind of just share that with people. And it's really fun to just share it and show your progress. So you can really write uh, anything you want here and you can save this. And then if we go back, we can go to our profile. And as you can see, it says anything you want. So you can kind of just place this here. It's here to demonstrate your achievements and your ranks in these skills and then your certificates as well. There are a ton of things that we're going to be adding to this questions page, like a leaderboard. We have all the data on the back end for all of this. So pretty quickly, we're going to be adding a leaderboard here and kind of a description of how you earn these points and what this is for, because right now it's just the questions, but we're going to add some more details and features. And this leaderboard will be really cool because it'll be an overall leaderboard, but it's also going to be a weekly leaderboard. So if you are new to the platform, you can just start learning and you can get on the weekly leaderboard, but we'll also have an overall leaderboard as well. And so I highly recommend just coming in here, filtering on these questions, just to the free questions and try it out. It is super, super, super fun. That is the feedback that almost everyone has said. They'll say the reason that they keep coming back every single day is because it's just super fun to learn. And that's honestly what we were trying to go for is just a really fun platform to learn. So go ahead and try this out now. Let's head over to the courses. Now, these are the courses that we have right now. We have MySQL Interview Crash Course, Advanced MySQL for Data Analysis, Python Programming for Beginners, MySQL for Data Analytics, and Pandas for Data Analysis. Now, very soon, it's being edited by my editor. It's gonna have the Excel for Data Analysis course, and I am recording the Tableau for Data Analysis right now. So those will be out very, very soon. And then really, we're gonna have the core courses on the platform, and I'm just gonna build on top of that. We have AWS and Azure course coming soon, and then also an AI course as well. Now let's really quick look at one of these courses. I'm going to take a look at this Pandas course. Now, if we open it up, you'll get a little introduction to the course about what is in it, what you're going to learn. We have 58 lessons, nine questions. And in fact, we actually have two projects and I just need to go put that, but we have two projects as well at the very end, but you're going to learn everything from just what is pandas, right? Which is a really great library for data analysis to working with files, filtering, ordering, indexing, uh, grouping, data visualization, all the way to data cleaning, data exploration, get a little introduction into polars, which is another library, which is a amazing and then do real world projects. Something that I love about these courses is that once you buy this course, you get it forever. So you never have to pay for it again. This isn't like the subscription model where, you know, you pay $40 a month to have access to courses. If you want to come back to that course in the future, you have to get another subscription. I never liked doing that. So I'm really happy that this is just a one time purchase and you never have to purchase it again. Now, once we actually come in here, I'm going to hit continue learning. You can come in here. We have a light mode and a dark mode, depending on what you like, but you can come through here and you can start learning. And one of the coolest things and one of the most unique things about my courses on this platform is that as you learn, you are then going to be challenged with practice questions. I have always found that I learn best by learning it and then applying it. And so with filtering and ordering, we're going to learn about filtering on columns, rows and string methods as well. And then right after you learn string methods, you have this question right here, which is area code where you're going to be challenged to actually use string methods in an actual use case. And so it's going to say write a query to return all the phone numbers that have an area code of 701. And then you have the data right down here and you have to write it. You have to check if your answer is correct. If it is correct, then you get to go on to the next question. Well, you can always skip it and come back, but 
you should really try to get it because then you can complete the entire course. If at any point you get stuck, you always have the video explanation where I will walk through that problem with you. Again, this is a really fun, unique part of the platform. This is part of the reason why I didn't put my courses up on something like Udemy, which I really was thinking about doing. I just wanted to go above and beyond. I wanted to be better than what you would find on Udemy. I wanted these courses to be unique. And honestly, I feel like they could not have turned out any better. Now, once you actually complete the course, you can come over here. We'll go to our dashboard. You can see uh, I've completed this MySQL interview crash course. If we go to our completed page, you can see that I can uh, come down here and I can get this certificate and I can share the certificate. So I can share it on uh, LinkedIn, X slash Twitter and Facebook, or I can just copy it or I can download the certificate as a PNG or PDF. And the certificate is just to share, show that you are making progress, show that you are learning, which I think is really valuable on these social media platforms. I genuinely think that these are some of the best courses that you are gonna find out there on any of these topics. I have taken more courses than I would like to admit, and I can honestly say these are some of the best courses that you are going to find. I really try to go in depth into each of these topics and add a lot of real world experience into it and tell you how I actually use these things in a real job. So those are the courses. And finally, let's take a look at the pricing. Now, right now, like I was talking about, we have this AB Live 23 at checkout. That'll give you 20% off anything you purchase. It doesn't matter if it's a questions, courses, or bundles, it will give you 20% off. Now, of course, under the questions, this is just for the questions tab. So we have the free tier, which will give you access to everything that we were just looking at a little bit ago, but you can do monthly, yearly, or lifetime. Now, right now, they give you access to the same thing, but at different you know plans. So you can do it monthly. If you just want to try it out, you can use that 20% off code and you can do it at, I think it's $12 a month. It'll give you access to all the questions, which is over a hundred questions now. I literally just added the Pandas course and I added more questions last week. So I'm gonna be continually rolling out new questions and new courses on the platform, probably every one to two months for courses and then definitely every single month for questions. And so you can do that monthly, yearly, or the lifetime. Now this lifetime is only for the questions. If we go over to the bundles, you'll see a different lifetime. That one is for questions and for courses. And we'll take a look at that in just a second. Then we have the courses over here and you can see there's kind of ranging from 44 down to $24 and that's for each course. Now, when you purchase it, you get it for life. So if you use the 20% off uh, on the 44, I think that's $35. You get this Python course forever. And this Python course is something that you may want to reference again, like in a year you start using Python, in your actual job and you're like, oh, okay, I remember I can do some automation. I just don't remember how to do it you can come back to this course and you can use it and you can watch it a thousand times. It doesn't matter. I personally did that all the time when I became a data analyst. I would reference old courses that I would take. And so I didn't want to have a subscription where you then had to renew your subscription in order to access the courses that you paid for. And then lastly, we have the bundles over here. Now, these bundles are just multiple either questions or courses put together for this analyst builder course bundle. These are all those five courses that we were just talking about. Uh, you can get all of them for 124 if you use the 20 percent off. That is $99, which is essentially $20 per course, which is, I mean, I think that is a steal. I genuinely do. Then we have the lifetime. This is going to give you access to all courses, all questions, and all future courses and questions. So if I roll out a new course, you will not have to pay for it. And that's going to be forever. So if I keep making courses for five years, which I have a lot of courses that I want to make. And just like I was talking about, I have a ton of courses that are coming out just next year on AI, on AWS and Azure, on Tableau, Power BI, and a ton of other skills as well. And this is the one that by far most people are taking. And especially with this 20% discount, this comes to under $300. You cannot even get a year subscription to Coursera for under $300. And there's a lot of great stuff on Coursera, but this is geared specifically for you. So that is everything that we have for the full launch of Analyst Builder, and this is just the start. I'm going to walk through some of the things that we have laid out for the future of the platform, because we have a lot of things that are going to be coming in just the next several months, as well as the next year. The first thing that we're going to have is a resources page that's going to have resumes, cover letters, uh, communities, and a ton of other stuff just for you. That's all going to be free for anybody, so it doesn't matter who it is. You can just access that and have that. Next, we're going to have a project section that's just 
filled with really great hands-on projects. It's going to range from projects like Excel, Tableau, Python, Power BI, and SQL, and it's going to be a different variety of a ton of different topics and domains. Next, we're going to be creating roadmaps because right now on the platform, you have a lot of courses. There's going to be a ton of different questions, but if you are a newbie and you've never used the platform before, you're new to data analytics, you may not know what courses you should be taking or what questions you should be focusing on. And so the roadmap is really going to guide you. Here is exactly what I would learn in what order. And again, that's going to be tied to the point system. So as you are learning throughout that roadmap, you're going to be earning points and earning badges and certificates. It's just going to be really, really cool. The last thing that I want to mention, although we have a ton of other things, is that we are going to be integrating AI into the platform. That will be probably happening really early in 2024. We've been looking into it quite a bit, but we're going to be integrating AI into both the questions and the courses, and I think it is going to be absolutely phenomenal. So I'm not going to give too many spoilers on how we're going to do that, but when you see it, I think it is going to blow you away. Like I just said, that is a small sample of some of the things that are to come. We have an entire list of things that we are going to be implementing on this. Genuinely, if you've been following Following Analyst Builder, we have been pushing new features really quickly. So a lot of these things that I've just been talking about are going to come really quickly in the next couple of weeks or months. So if you have not tried out Analyst Builder, do that right now. I will leave a link in the description. Go try out the free section in the questions. It is really, really fun. I genuinely think it's one of the best ways to learn because it's really hands on. It's really practical and it's a lot of things that I know you will use as a data analyst. And so with that being said, please go and try it out. We have worked insanely hard to make this one of the best learning platforms in the entire world. I genuinely think it is incredible. We have gotten so much good feedback and so many people saying it's just really, really well made. And so I want a lot of people to experience it and try it out. So go do that. I will have other videos on Analyst Builder in the future. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.